All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and... Whoa, what happened? Where'd it go? No, 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 don't lose it. Where did it go? I just... Oh, boy. Um... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the mess in TerraTech that I have made since the last couple episodes. So, uh, I know I said last time that I was going to clean this stuff up for this episode, but I think I'm really close to getting this storage block, and I don't want to try to, like, run around and manage all this stuff right now, so I think what we're going to try to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to go to these points of interest, and I'm hoping that one of these times, the points of interest is actually going to be the storage block. So then we can finally manage this entire mess that we have. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and highlight the point of interest here, which is, of course, way behind me. So I got to fight my way through my mess. And we're going to hopefully we'll be able to get some storage units going on so that I don't have to actually pick all this stuff up one by one. Uh, I am not good at this right now. Hold on a sec. I got this. We're going to drop these things. And now we're going to go ahead and attach these. All right. So off to point of interest number one. Okay, we're approaching point of interest number one. And I just realized that in all of my haste, I completely forgot to shield up. Um, so I think we're just gonna go for it anyway. Nothing like taking some chances. So hopefully we won't lose anything here. Is that- is that the storage block? I really hope that's the storage block. I don't think it is though. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a regen point? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna destroy these guys, I hope. Without any issue. Drop something here, what's this? Gruntle Guard AI. Oh! I think I might know what the- so, I think this means I can actually have a secondary thing that might follow me, because it's an AI. Um, alright, what else do we got here? We got some, some lasers and stuff. Go ahead and take these. There we go. Frontal guard AI. Alright. What is this? Wood. Don't want wood. I don't really want any of that stuff either, but... Uh, so this is... nothing great. Well, we have a shield, at least. But no batteries. So, that's not doing us too much good. Yeah, we just came totally unprepared for this. Um, so that point of interest is relatively far away. So I think we're just going to go ahead and um, head back to base. And actually shield up and come prepared this time. Alright, we're back at the base and uh, my shield, my bubbles and batteries were all conveniently placed right on the outskirts of it, so we're not going to interfere too much. We'll go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Um, I kind of want to test out this AI thing really quick. Where's my player tech? So we're just going to see what happens if I attach this thing onto the back of that. Oh wait, is it its own? So if I double click on this... Ah, there we go. So it does follow, or it stays idle. Ooh. So, if it follows... Come on, follow me. Follow me. Is it gonna follow me? Or did I just deactivate it? Oh, yeah, there it goes! Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I was testing things out, man. You're making me shoot my own stuff, aren't you? Did I just kill it? Okay, good, I didn't. Whew. All right, um, so there's my batteries. I think I already have all the shield and stuff I need. There we go. Go ahead and put all these batteries on here. That looks good. We'll take this. Actually, I don't need to take that with me because I got one right there. I got two on me. I don't need two on me. All right, and we're going to actually have you stay idle because this is... I, I'm not too sure what I want to do with you yet. I'm not too sure how you work. So right now, I, j I just want to focus on my resources. Um, and by focus on my resources, I mean completely ignore them while I look for the storage unit. Okay, the next point of interest. <gasps> do you see what I see? Ladies and gentlemen, my prayers have been answered. The SCU storage block is now a mission. All right, we are prepared. We got full batteries, and we are off to get 
the coveted and long-awaited SCU storage block, and then I will not have to look at this mess over here. Now watch, just my luck, I'm gonna leave all this stuff behind, go get the storage block, and then when I come back, someone's gonna be just destroying all my stuff. Alright, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The SCU storage block is finally here. Oh good, you found your SCU storage device. Pick it up and then place it on the ground to anchor it. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Good job, wait, I'm getting some heat signatures coming in fast. Well, we're prepared. We're gonna defend this thing. Oh no, these guys are actually doing a pretty good job of it. I'm gonna stand right next to it so I can hopefully repair it a little bit. Get him, get him, get him. I think I have to back up. All right, you guys stay away from this storage block. I'm gonna defend this thing with my life. Yes, look at that. Hey, die. Die. You don't get to live. You don't get to live around my storage block. Oh, yes. Look at it just suck everything up. Oh, we'll put it over here. Oh. No, 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 no. You are for taking things right now. Wait. You can access your stored blocks while in your build beam. Press B to try. Inventory panel shows what blocks you have in storage. Select from any blocks available. Oh, do I have to have it attached to me? Hold Alt or deselect the current block to use grab mode. The inventory is split into lots of- I'm not seeing it. Where- Oh, do I have to have it anchored? Gotta figure out how this thing works now. How does it work? That means I don't need these things anymore. I can pretty much drop them there and have it suck them all up, right? Yeah, there you go. Alright, so it said when I was in the build beam I could access the stuff. Oh, is this it? Show inventory. Ah, there we go. Yeah, and there it goes. The numbers are going up. Okay. You know what it is? You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? It is time to finally clean stuff up. We're gonna go back to our base and we're gonna clean up all of this stuff that we've just left behind. Alright, and there goes our batteries too, so... Good timing. Um... You know what? I'm gonna take this stuff over here as well, because why not? We can do it. We have unlimited storage. I am so glad I didn't decide to spend, like, an hour cleaning up all those individual pieces one by one just to get this thing right when I started playing. That would have been frustrating. But, we got the storage block, and now we can actually finally start doing stuff. Alright, we'll take this. Why not? Alright, back to the home base for the epic cleaning frenzy. This is gonna be amazing. You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to this. It's been like three weeks now. Ooh, looks like we have a Venture guy on our way back. Defeat the Venture Drifter for the Venture License. Is he dead? Alright, there we go. Venture License Upgrade, Grade 1. Congratulations. I'm actually gonna put this down while I'm speaking. Congratulations, Venture has upgraded your license to Grade 1. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station. Alright. And we are making some good progress right away. All we needed was this storage block. Wow. Oh yeah, continue. Get out of here. Um... Oh, that is a rock. That is not an actual thing. Alright, take all the Venture parts. And we're going back to the base again. Oh, this is so exciting! Alright, looks like we got some stuff here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place that down. And now commences the official cleaning of the Scrap Mechanist base. Yes! Yes! Take it all! Oh, what does this guy want? Uh, I don't like this. He's gonna make me destroy my own stuff. I'm shooting my own stuff from behind. Is he done? Alright, there we go, he's done. Alright, and now I'm gonna go ahead and- Whoa! What happened? Where'd it go? No, 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 don't lose it. Where did it go? I just- Oh, boy. Um... This better not have just happened. I had my storage block, and I picked it up, and it zoomed at me really, really fast. And now I can't find it. 
Where did my storage block go? Are you kidding me? Guys, guys, where'd it go? I've made a terrible mistake. I regret, I regret this decision. Is this it over here? I don't see it over here. Okay, I'm, I'm just really bad at, I, oh, is that it way over there? Did it really fly all the way over here? I don't know if this is it or not. But if it is, I can't believe it. That doesn't look like it anymore. No, that is not it. Oh, there it is, I think. Wow, look how far that went. Ooh, I was scared that I actually, like, messed up the game again. In my first episode, I broke the shield and it wouldn't give it back, even though it kept saying it was there. Last time, I accidentally blew up my receiver. And then this time, I almost lost my storage unit, like when I finally got it after three episodes of, of wishing for it. Alright, there we go. We're gonna place this here. And we're gonna go ahead and just clean up some more. It already, like, we've already gotten rid of, like, half of the stuff. This is amazing. And you know what? I think we're just gonna actually tear this thing apart so we can just start from scratch and actually build it nice and uh, organized. Because right now I was, just, I was just putting things together before not really knowing what I was doing. So I think starting from the beginning is the way to go for this. I don't know about this guy, can I just... I don't know if I can put him in storage or not. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially cleaned up after ourselves. Look at what this place has turned into. There's like, you can see the floor. You can see the floor. I'm so proud of myself. My mom would be proud. What's next? Maybe Should we find a new spot? Should we rebuild here? I feel like a new spot, maybe like a geothermal vent. I wonder if we can find a geothermal vent anywhere around. I think what I'm gonna try to do is, we're actually gonna do a little bit of traveling, see if there's something better we can find. Uh, and I think we'll go to some points of interest with our batteries charged. And then we'll find a new place to rebuild. You know what, I'm gonna put some wheels underneath, because I think I should have a lot more of those other wheels. How do I get rid of this block here? Do I just click on another one? There we go. Yeah, so this should give me a little bit more support underneath, and hopefully make me go a little bit faster, I don't know. Alright, so let's put our batteries back on, and we're gonna head out to the next point of interest. Alright, so I just realized that there's a bunch of plumite right here, and one of my quests is to harvest a bunch of plumite ore, so we're gonna go ahead and do this first on our way to our point of interest. Alright, there we go, ore harvester one complete. And I guess we'll pick up that thing with our storage unit. It does take a little bit to charge, but honestly, I can't complain. For the amount of, of effectiveness that this thing contributes to the game, um, I'm willing to wait, even for one little item like that. Ooh, rhodite, I think that's what I need. So we got our next mining quest. Um, items right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this on our way. All right, back to the point of interest. Batteries are a little bit more charged now. Wait, what is this? All right, another another one of those invasion things. All right, let's see what we're gonna what we're gonna be contended with here. All right, we got someone behind and someone in front. That's perfectly fine with me because I got weapons in front and weapons behind. And these guys look really easy. In fact, maybe a little bit too easy. Suspiciously easy, in fact. Alright, all clear. Enemies destroyed. Is that it? That can't be it. I think it actually was it. Um... Hmm, ooh, something bigger is over there. How are our batteries doing? We got plenty of battery. All right, let's just take up some of this stuff. All right, heading over to this point of interest. It looks like they have some type of base there. Um, I'm wondering if there's gonna be anything new there or if it's just gonna be some more stuff for us to build something somewhere else. But we're getting close, so we'll find out soon enough. All right, Hosh Posh and the Immolator. Hosh Posh is quite an interesting name. These guys have some interesting strategies. They're doing a pretty good job of staying away from the front of me, but uh, if they want to get behind me, that's okay too. I got plenty of weapons in the back as well. All right, I think he's pretty much done. 
Whoa, whoa, we got a lot of stuff here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our thing down so that we can absorb all this. I wonder if there's anything new. I'm not too sure. Hard to tell if there's something that you haven't seen yet. But it looks like just the normal, the normal stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and just suck it all up. Oh, this is gonna be a great view. Yeah. Oh, look at those clouds, they're black. Why are the clouds black? That's weird. Where are we? This guy wanna come over here? That guy does not look like he's having a, such a great time. No, he is not having a good time. Well, he, he wants some. We're gonna give him some. Mr. Plow. Alright, is that all you got? Alright, well that's it. Guess we'll take some of this stuff back here too. Alright, let's check out what we have at this, I guess they call it a pop base. I don't know why. It looks like all just the typical stuff, honestly, so I think it's just some new stuff for us to, uh, add. How cool would it be to have a real life black hole that you could just like have on you and carry all your stuff? No more need for backpacks, wallets, all that stuff. You could just open up your inventory at any time. This looks interesting. Hmm. <gasps> Are these the vents? Are these thermal vents? I think this is what the geothermal thing was talking about. Yeah! Geothermal generator. Uh, so if I just put this right here. Is it on? It looks like it's doing something. And now if I go ahead and take a battery, like this new one I got, and place it right there, does it start charging? Is the black hole gonna take the battery off? What is that? Wait, so what is the geothermal thing? I thought it was gonna be a charger. So if I go ahead and just take like a regular block, or how about this, will the shield work on this? All right, the shield does work, okay. All right, so this thing looks like it just powers on its own, so that's cool. So we can build stuff off of this that'll probably provide power. Um, so I don't know if I want to build my base here, though, but we do have some geothermal vents. I wonder if it has a limit. I'm looking at this place, what kind of resources are these? Mountain rock doesn't seem that great. And this blue stuff is, uh, titanite. I don't know if titanite's good or not. What's this stuff? Luxite. I actually need luxite. Um, so maybe we will build a base here. It's actually kind of overwhelming thinking about building a base. All right, it looks like this area may be the best area. It has three vents right next to each other. So if we want to get more of this, we can have it pretty close by. So I think we're just going to go ahead and build a base here. Uh, I don't really know how that's going to work, but we will figure it out. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I was trying to build kind of like an archway for me to just drive through where all of my resources should just get dropped off, but for some reason, and I can't tell why, these receivers are not picking up these resources, and I'm wondering what the problem is. Maybe if I just drop them? Ah, there we go. That's kind of weird. Why does this receiver, are these receivers as well? A picker? Oh! Okay, I see. So this is a receiver that should actually probably be up here. Alright, I can do that. I get it now. I'll put this on the other side. I get it now. So this should be upside down like that. Alright. Uh, oops. Looks like we have an extra one there. That can go in the black hole. So, I kind of like this. Uh, I got everything going on sideways, so that's kind of fun. So yeah, now if I just drive through this thing, it should, um, 
it should just pick everything up. Now I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this thermal generator, I don't know if thermal vents run out or not, or if this is just infinite electricity so that I can attach shields and stuff without ever having to worry about it being unprotected. So I'm going to go ahead and attach whatever shields I might have. I have nine. I, I, I'm sure I can buy more. So let's start on this side to see if it works on this side. We'll put them on the outside. How about that? All right, powering up. Excellent. We'll put this one on the corner right here. I think pretty much everything is protected now. And I don't know if I really need much as far as repair goes, but I guess just in case, I'll put some repair bubbles on here anyway. Cool. This is, I'm liking this. This is looking pretty cool. Why is this thing not being sucked up by the black hole? That's kind of confusing. Oops. I, I thought this would probably be something that... There we go. Alright, and I guess I don't really need these right now. Oh, that was a big mistake! Alright, I am really happy there's an undo button, because all of that stuff was just about to get picked up. Alright, there goes our shields. The power goes generating down the line. That's pretty cool. Alright, this seems pretty secure. So this is a huge, huge difference in organization. How's that? Uh, so let's actually do a little bit of experiment now. I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this stuff right here, and then we'll drive through with all of our newly collected resources and see how well it, um, how well it picks everything up. All right, we got a bunch of resources, so I'm going to go ahead and drive on under and see what happens. Yes. That is excellent. Now I'm just going to make sure everything actually, especially from this one, and make sure everything actually go- Oh, I forgot to, uh, turn this way the right- Turn this back the right way, so make sure everything's going down the line. And it looks like everything is going exactly as planned, oh, except this. This is not going as planned, I don't think. Doesn't seem like these are converting onto the conveyor belt. I'm not sure why that is. It's attached to the conveyor belt. Can the Geocore only feed onto a Geocore conveyor? I don't know how that works. Honestly, I don't think this thing is really necessary, so we're just gonna go ahead and let the black hole pick that up. All right, so I ha what I have here is I have everything going into a refinery and into the pay terminal. So I noticed that there was also a foundry. I'm, I gotta look into a bit of the foundry to see if I wanna add in the foundry thing. I don't know if that's what is normal to put it to put the stuff into a, a foundry to get the alloys is that more valuable or are those for like building stuff i'm not too sure but right now i like what i have i'm relatively proud of it i think it's well protected i think it's well organized and i think it's very useful and it's going to be much more efficient for future purposes and as far as i can tell i have unlimited power so I don't really see a downside to this position, other than like the terrain isn't quite as flat as I would like to build some more things. But I like what we have, we have a bunch of vents, so we're pretty well equipped. The before and after is probably going to be an incredible difference. Let, let me put up a, a before picture right now. This is what we were looking at at the beginning of the episode. And this is what we are at now. A nice, clean archway that serves all the purposes that uh, that I, I can think of right now in the game that I have access to. So let me know what you got. What do you guys think of this new build? Let me know what I should do next. What can I do? What do I have access to that I may not be aware of? What's next up in the game for me to do other than complete these harvesting um, missions and go to more points of interest? Oh, a distress signal. Rescue the stranded tech. Okay, that'll be an interesting one for next episode. So stick around for next episode when we're going to go rescue the stranded tech. And I'm going to look at your feedback and see uh, what else I should do next. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Scrap Mechanist channel. Okay, skies, sunny day. This is the life. What was that? Hello? I heard you.